The early access beta to this acknowledged was the general public's first glimpse of this game. However, seeing as it was a Steam beta download link, at this point in time it has largely been lost to, well, time, serving as a privilege only the elder members of our community can faintly remember. Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here. For my first issue of a series, I'm going to be calling Modding Mondays. This will be a series where I talk about mods or mod updates that I made once a week. And today's mod will be the Beta Restore mod, which as of this release of this video, is on version 1.3. I'll be covering everything this mod restores to be playable, how it works, as well as some cool details, before closing the video out with what gameplay of this mod looks like. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Starting off, you're going to need to install the mod. To do this, you got to follow the Nexus mod link below, install the mod, and mount loader. If you don't know what mount loader is, or how those mods work, I explained it in my camera mod video, which I'll have linked. So now that the mod is installed, you're going to want to start a new playthrough. The reason for this is that the beta took place in the Penrose, so the restoration only restores content in the Penrec room, which takes place before any save points. Now that you're in a new save, you can toggle the mod. To do this, you're going to want to hit the F11 key. If you're worried that it may not have worked, you can check the Melon Loader log, and it should give you a line of text confirming the mod's activation. Now the mod is working, and the pen rows you play in should be similar to that of the beta. This means that several cut rooms have been restored. This includes the early game reactor with the reactor puzzle, the med room with the mules, the storage room which usually isn't available until late game, and finally the personnel room. These restored rooms have all been furnished with all of the items being added back by this mod, so that way you can play through them in the same way that it was originally seen in the early access, including the return of the early game enemies found in the early access version. While I was working on restoring content for this mod, I noticed two things of particular note. First, the moment we loot the pistol, we do this by opening a gun case very similar to Hunter's case found later in the game, and the pistol within is actually labeled revolver rather than pistol, showing that this asset was most likely repurposed for that case. Second, the storage in the beta had an additional part that they don't currently have, this being a long time. Perhaps removed to reduce the amount of borzo memes that they suffer from, or because enabling the tongue creates a whole new rendered item that could have possibly caused performance issues in scenes as it doesn't disable properly with many storages. Finally, the beta had a unique feature of being able to aim at enemies and the cross cell telling you which enemy you are aiming at. This ability has been restored by the mod, and actually has a separate download file for people who want to enable it throughout their whole game without the beta restore half of the mod. And much like the beta restore, it is bound to F11. However, let's say you don't want to have the mod enabled anymore. Simple. You just hit the star key and all the rooms and crosshair changes will be disabled, setting you back to a normal playthrough. So that's all the features. I'll now do a little playthrough of the entire mod to showcase what's in it. I hope you guys enjoyed this mod that I made. Hopefully you guys you know, find interest out of it. Uh, but until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao.